Today is June 23rd, okay? Here's how I'm looking right now. How do I describe? My ends feel like they're getting encapsulated. I didn't band my ends. I only braided. I was being super lazy and I just hate, hate pulling the rubber bands out while they're wet. I don't know if it's a texture thing or something, but I didn't band, I only braided, so we'll see what happens. But I'm liking how my hair feels and looks. Originally, I was gonna get my hair retied on the 18th, but I'm going this weekend, because look at my hair, look, look. Look at this. Look, look, look at all this. Can you see? Can you see all, all this? Here my lock down here. Here, like I don't know what it is, but my perimeter back here. But it grows way faster than the rest. Well, not than the rest, but it grows fast around here, and I'd be looking crazy and. I'm not trying to look crazy, okay? It's already COVID. But this one, oh my gosh. No, I didn't do that. That's that's not for me, not banding. Mm -mm. I just ended up braiding and banding it last night so I wouldn't be lazy today before my appointment. So I'm about to go wash. My hair is July 11th. I'll show you guys what I look like after a fresh retie. After what? I'm almost, I'm almost eight months. I think I don't even know. Like, what is time right now? It's COVID. I don't know. It's I'll sleep my heart. You can see my scalp. I don't know, like the roots of my follicles that came out in the process of my hair locking all throughout my locks like all those little white specks like they don't come out they're like in my lock i don't know how to combat that so, uh, i dyed my hair jet black right before because that's just my color but i don't know if you guys can tell my locks are significantly lighter than my roots my hair is itching i think i'm coming due for a retie soon i'm gonna push out a little longer than i usually do because oh and today is august 4th 2020 by the way uh, i'm gonna push it out a little further than i usually do because it's covid and i want to make sure that i get it when i really really need it and right now it's just like my perimeter but I still have, I mean, you can still see, like, the middle of my head doesn't grow as fast as my perimeter. So that's another thing. I might, I'm just going to wait. I feel like my ends are getting more locked. And it, it feels like it's getting thicker, which I'm so glad because, you know, when you first get it done... And you can see your scalp. I'm like, oh, did I make the wrong decision? <laughs> I was like, am I gonna look like a plug chicken? Like, or like one of those baby dolls that you can see all the plugs in their hair, like the old baby dolls. I don't know. Like, I thought that's how my hair was gonna be. Like, right after I got it done, I was like, okay, just trust the process. Trust the process. So now here we are, and I'm really feeling like. Like, I can actually say I'm starting to lock. I, and you know the whole time you're, like, starting to lock. But now I feel like they're really starting to establish. Get into it. Okay, what do you think? Do we like? I don't know. I like. I like. But. But. As I was looking at my hair, all I could focus on was all this 
lint build up like girl we just got out of the flaking stage what what is this what is this like can we just have a moment of clear hair like please i have little build up like everywhere and i didn't notice it until i was showing my mom my braid out results it's like bruh can i catch a break like Anywho, you can't tell from here. It is rough. All my hair wants to stick together. <laughs> I've been making sure I separate my hair so it doesn't marry. So I can still make sure that all my, my grid is still there, all my parts are still there. The braid and banding washing is becoming a lot quicker. I think because in the beginning, you're like very sensitive like you're treating your locks very delicate delicately because they're new and your hair hasn't been in this in this state before so you don't really know how it's gonna take with rough handling but now i'm just like pfft. i am breezing through banding and braiding you'll get used to it for sure in the beginning i was like i don't know i can't no i'm just like <laughs> i mean they are growing yeah like a weed no but look like wow all right y'all this is my hair october 9th friday right before i go in to get my retightening anyway i'm running late for my appointment i just wanted to show you guys real quick what i look like before all right, Joy, here's my retighting. Look at all the crap in my hair. Did say that the shampoo is formulated to make my hair look faster. So maybe I'll use the Taraji P on my scalp and the sister lock on my hair and really try to scrub the buildup out. It's like lint and such, but look at us. Okay. Oh, you can see my... My, my grid again okay yes okay okay bye i'm almost 11 months which means i'm almost at a year a whole year with one hairstyle can you believe it because i can't y'all why does my hair look like this because it was just in a slap cap so i just wanted to be real like I'm coming to y'all raw right now because today is October 21st, which means it's my 11 months. I'm one month away from being locked for a year. So I want you guys to see how it looks in its entirety. Um, I just took my slap cap off. So that's why it's all, all matted, but let's get it out. And I got my ultra chill from TPH. I'm gonna put some on my scalp because why not? It's 11 months. Let's give our scalp a treat, yeah? Shake ourselves out here at 11 months. But yeah, so here we are. That's what we're looking like. okay another thing i wanted to say about being at 11 months is i'm noticing my shrinkage is real like first of all my hair is growing extremely fast i don't recall my hair ever growing this fast i should be looking at the camera but i keep looking at my hair so but i feel like these sister locks make my hair grow faster I think locks in general. I think my hair it just likes to not be manipulated every day and or once a week, whatever you want to call it. But here I am. Here we are. I do have shrinkage. <laughs> Look at that shrinkage. I love it. I love it. Okay, bye. Yo, my hair is growing crazy.
crazy. I'm in front of a humidifier. But oh, what in the world? That is insane. I think this is my first real braid out. I don't think I've ever left a mint overnight. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, but these roots though. These roots though. Okay, not the bayang. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some content for my YouTube to show my hair growth. Right? It looks totally different, right? It's crazy. So I think today is the day I'm gonna just start editing and posting the video. It is December 7th, Monday, 2020. The coronavirus still exists. Still running rampant. Black lives still matter. Um, WomenOnTheBomb.com, we run the world. Uh, it's that year, you know, just in case anybody was confused what year I'm talking about. Um, let's get into this natural sunlight though, cause skin, somebody told me today my skin is popping. No, is it? Cause I literally have nothing on the lip gloss. Okay, and SPF. Anyway, are you guys in shock? Cause I am. Maybe I'll put a side-by-side -side video of what this day is. This day, last year, what my hair looked like. So you can really, cause this is insane. Like, no, is this insane guys? Is this insane? Like is my hair growing extra fast? Cause I feel like it grew extremely fast much faster than if my hair was loose and i do not honestly 110 percent do not miss having loose and natural hair the only time i miss it is when i see pictures and i'm like oh that hairstyle was cute but as far as like miss combing and detangling and all the extras that came with loose natural hair i do not miss that at all not even one little bit I've been swooping my baby hairs. I'm satisfied. I wake up in the morning. I shake and I go. Baby, honey. Get into this, okay? You was thinking about getting those sister locks, brother locks? You're like, I don't know. Hopefully, seeing my year in a recap. You know, looking at my other videos. You're like, you know what? I want to do it or you may be like this ain't for me but i hope y'all got something out of this year with me because i'm just amazed i feel like i don't know if i should just keep documenting my journey or what but why not huh because if we're looking like this in a year <sighs> i mean what are we about to look like in two years Look, I can't even see my eyes on the camera anymore. Like, what? I can swoop. I can sw I can swish. I can swoop and swish. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm going to stop staring at my hair now. Look at that. Guys, I'm just really... I'm really in shock that I, I kept a hairstyle for a year. One, one whole hairstyle, because that's never happened in my life. All right, this is about four minutes of me talking, so I'm gonna just cut it off here. Thank you guys for watching my journey from start to a year, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because I've been having a blast, although 2020 has been rough to say the least. So this has been a little ray of sunshine in my day, documenting this journey for you guys to see and for myself to see later in life. And I'm just really, I'm really high. I can't stop looking at my hair in the camera, which I'm not supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be engaged here, right? I'm supposed to be looking at you guys and I can't, like, I can't see myself play with my hair in my peripheral vision, peripheral. 
peripheral, whatever, you know what I mean. Okay. You guys, the sun is just doing me some justice right now. It's making me feel regal. Okay. All right, bye.